Welcome to my bedroom. I don't know how long it's been since you guys have been up here with me. It's been a while, but I have some empties that we need to do. There's not as much as I thought there was going to be, but there's some cool stuff in here. So, and I need to get rid of it. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. So, um, well, let's just get started. Okay. Let's just get started in no particular order. I don't even know what's in here, which is usually par for the course whenever I do an empties video because I let it go so long. I'm like, I think even the load before this, I went ahead and emptied it because I went ahead and took it out to the trash because it had been in there so long. And I'm like, this has got to go. And I have since, um, refilled my trash bag and well, here we are. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to pull out of the empties bag are these hello he hello sorry hello hello organic women's multivitamins you can get these at walmart um the hello hello brand is um was created by that celebrity couple i don't remember their names if you know who i'm talking about put them in the comments below they've been married forever completely adorable they're both movie stars whatever they created the hello hello brand and um that's their multivitamins um, I actually have two of them, so I must have liked them. I am out. I need to get another multivitamin. I'm doing a Walmart run in the morning, so um, keep your fingers crossed if my day doesn't get psycho busy, like all my days have been. We can do a Walmart haul tomorrow. But anyway, I'll be getting more um, multivitamins. Um, the Hello brand is pretty good. I mean, how do you tell if a vitamin's good or not? If it doesn't upset your stomach, really at the end of the day, you can't tell. Um, a big thing for me is the chewability. If it's, if it's too hard to chew, like a hard steak or something, I don't need it. Um, but apparently I bought these twice and they had a good flavor. They chewed up well. This is probably the brand I'll buy again. Um, on the same note, um, here's the Daily Energy by Ollie. Um, I'm a fan of the Ollie um, gummy vitamins. So this is a Daily Energy. It's more of a B12 situation. Um, B12 plus CoQ10 and goji berry. I don't really know anything about CoQ10, but I do know that I love B12. And um, goji berry, I guess, is something fabulous. If you have input and you can educate me on that, um, leave comments below. Um, these right here, um, I do have an opinion about these. Um, this is a B12 energy raspberry vitamin. All these are from Walmart, by the way. Um, usually when I take a B12, um, my energy perks up a little bit. Um, these did nothing for me, so I don't recommend these. And they're the, uh, I don't know, Boost Made to, Made to Keep You Going. The Made to Boost, I, I don't know. These, these, I don't like them. I won't be repurchasing those. Um, these are women's best. Okay. So women's best, you cannot get at Walmart. Women's best is an online brand only, and they sell supplements, vitamins. Um, they sell, um, collagen, protein shake stuff. Um, anything from athletic wear, sports wear. I did get a pair of yoga pants and a sports bra from them. Um, I wasn't a fan of the sports bra. I gave that to my boss. She loves it. The yoga pants are super thick and I love them, so I will be wearing them when I go row in the winter time. If I put them on now, I'll sweat to death and die. Not gonna happen. Um, as is across um, America, it is like the humidity is insane, the heat is insane. Um, last night when I got home from work, I wanted to go run three miles. Do you know how far I got? 1.7 miles. So that's a mile and three quarters, and I was tapping out because it was just too hot. So I like to row on Monday, get a little bit of a workout, whatever that looks like when I get home on Tuesdays, whether that's mowing the lawn, going for a walk, walking the dogs, going for a run, whatever. And then on Wednesday I row and then Thursdays I like to go for a run. And then Fridays I don't really do anything because, because well, it's Friday night. <laughs> and usually that's me and Shane's date night, but Shane's not feeling good tonight. So um, no dance videos for y'all tonight, sorry. Um, he's okay. He just, his tummy's upset and he's just been laying on the couch. So let's keep going. Um, anyway, back to, um, these were hair vitamins, chewable hair vitamins. I really like these 
and um, every now and then I get a wild hair to let my hair grow out and then it'll get a certain length and then I'm done. So if you go back in my archives, you'll see me with hair down to here. And um, I'm 47 and so I think keeping my hair um, shorter, at least collarbone length, is, is probably better a better option because if my hair gets too long, it gets stringy and witchy and Ain't nobody got time for that. So I, I do know when I was taking these that um, I could see, you know, my hair grows pretty fast, but it was, it, it, it had a little hop in its step. It was growing a little bit faster, right? So recommend those. Um, these are pricier. If they in the budget, go ahead and get them. If they not, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, this is also women's best. These are apple cider vinegar gummies. Um, I don't really, um, they tasted better than the ones that you can get at Walmart, um, but, you know, it's probably all hype anyway. Um, after I got had gotten COVID, you know, I was really a stickler for elderberry, my daily vitamin, my energy, you know, any of the good stuff I could pound into my body after I got COVID, and I've just been on a regimen ever since, so... That's why I have so many empty bottles of gummy vitamins. Here's the Ollie Women's Multi. I love these. Um, the only, my only complaint about Ollie is the chewability, but it's not, these, the Hello brand chews up and tastes better than Ollie, but I could, you know, either one of them is fine with me. Um, and I do, I am about to wrap up a bottle of elderberry. I think I have one gummy left, so I need to get a multivitamin and an elderberry um, vitamin tomorrow when I go to Walmart. Um, here is a bottle of Philips Colon Health if you want a, prio a probiotic. Um, I took all of these. So these these don't really do a whole whole lot for me, but I have a video <laughs> back in my archives and it was several years ago, probably three or four years, I'm spitting, probably three or four years ago and I still get comments on it and it's for the acai berries. Um, and people still comment on that video that want a good colon cleanse. Hold on, I'll get them for you. Hang on. So, um, I have a whole video on colon cleanse. Um, and these are the 14 day acai berry cleanse. Um, they recommend you take two in the morning and two in the evening until they're gone for two weeks to clean out your gut. Um, I can't do that. So <laughs> when I when I do use them, I'll do two in the morning, two in the evening, two in the morning, two in the evening for a couple days, and then I'll taper off to one in the morning, one in the evening, and then I'll taper off to one a day, and then I just kind of put them up. I have never been able to take 14 days of four a day because well, I have other things to do besides hang out in the bathroom. So if you're backed up and you need a good gut cleanse, these are amazing. Um, I swear you'll drop 10 pounds just by being in the bathroom. So if your day is busy and you're running and gunning, um, this, this is probably, you, you got to think about where you're going to be when it kicks in, right? <laughs> so if I'm taking these like today, I had to go and speak to students at a school and they're um, I don't want to be sitting in front of a group of, of 20 and then my gut is going, you know, not doing that. So I have to plan out if I'm going to take these, what's on my calendar, right? Um, anyway, if you're interested in a good colon cleanse, I have a whole video on that. Um, and if I could learn how to put the link for the tag or whatever, I don't know how to do that. I'm sure it's not hard, but anyway, just type in Away Girl Acai Berry and it'll pop up. Um, the elderberry, um, this is the Sambucus elderberry that I take. Actually, I have one left in the bottle. Um, these are amazing. <laughs> I love them. Um, my friend Charity got me, y'all know Charity, the one that lives on the ranch. There's also a, a Creekmore Ranch video in the archives. Um, she got me onto these and these help fight your immunity. They help boost your immunity. So, they're for immune support. They taste amazing. And um, this is the only kind I buy. Love those probiotics. They're whatever. Um, man, I can't believe how many vitamins I had in here. That's how bad 
that's how bad um, COVID scared me. Look at those. I just pound down the vitamins, but they make me feel better. Um, these are the Smarty Pants, also at Walmart. You can get all of these at Walmart, except for the women's best. Uh, Smarty Pants, uh, multi, women's multi. I buy these again. They chew well. They taste good. 30 day supply. We'll have that. They're all kind of in the same price range. Um, magnesium. <laughs> There's other stuff in this empties, I promise. Um, magnesium. You guys, magnesium is good for so many things. And this is a this is a cheaper magnesium. I got it at the Dollar General. I recommend actually putting a little money into it, getting on Amazon and buying good um, magnesium. I actually got a comment. I can't think of your name right now, but I got a comment. Thank you for your sweet comment. She said she's been watching me um, for a long time. She loves my, com my content, but that she never comments. Well, she commented on my Instagram which is Away Girl, by the way. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Away Girl over there. Away Girl, two separate words. Um, anyway, she left me a comment and asked me about what kind of magnesium I use. So um, this is Rexall. This is not the kind I recommend. This was um, a, spare, a spur of the moment purchase. Um, my sister and I, um, last winter, and I've bought two or three bottles since then, but this is not my favorite. Rexall will do, but it's not my favorite. Um, She's like, I don't have any magnesium, and I said, I'm out, and I said, I'm going to Dollar General. Do you want me to get some? And she said, yeah. So this is fine, but it's not a higher grade that she and I like. It was just an a impulse buy that we needed right then, and we were out in the middle of the country, and well, in the country, all you get is Dollar General. So this is what we got, but it was good enough that I um, purchased it a few times. Now, how you can tell magnesium me, and this is my own personal opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I, I know nothing. Literally, I know nothing except <laughs> what I know works for me. So, magnesium is good for so many different things, you guys. It is good for so many different things. It's good for anxiety. It's good for sleep. It's good for gut health. It's good for, I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. So, if you're curious about magnesium, Google it. Look at the benefits. It's amazing. Um, so for me, magnesium, it, it wakes me up, it perks me up, it wakes me up and it helps me go to the bathroom. It helps calm me down. It puts me in a great mood. Um, my sister, um, it does all those things for her too, but she has to take it at night because it makes her sleepy. So, um, it's good for anxiety and stress. And so it tends to calm her down and she has to take it at night so she won't get tired during the day. For me, it calms down my stress and anxiety, but it gives me energy. I think I'm a little ADD, so that's probably why. I don't know. Anyway, um, the best magnesium I get is on Amazon, and I will comment. I will reply to your comment on Instagram about what kind that is, because I don't know off the top of my head. But it costs more than this, and it's worth every penny. Okay, there's that. Um, Zyrtec. I have to take an antihistamine every day. Normally I take Flonase, um, but I've been taking Flonase for years and years and for so long that it quit working and so I had to change it up. If you have allergies and asthma real bad like I do and you have to take an antihistamine every day, um, you're gonna have to change your game every now and then because they'll stop working. Right now I'm on Zyrtec. Who knows what I'll be on next. Um, okay, so do you wanna get into some fun stuff? <laughs> Let's get into some fun stuff, okay. Some of y'all know, all y'all know, maybe none of y'all know, I sell Norwex on this side. I know some of y'all know because you bought Norwex from me. Um, I'm not going to talk about Norwex, but this is a Norwex product. If you want to know about Norwex, just holler at me. If you would like to host a Norwex party on Facebook, I would love um, to um, set that up. And you can win tons of free product, and it's easy, and you don't have to do anything. I, I throw the party. It's a good time. I'll go live in your party. I'll do all the posts. It, it's it's fun. That's a whole other video. Anywho, this is a Norwex product, and this is the Ultra Enzyme Dishwasher Powder. Listen, 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 y'all. I have a video up um, where I'm just kind of like clean house with me. I don't even know what it's called, but I'm doing dishes and running around the house and doing whatever it is that I do. Um, and when I'm doing my dishes, I don't know about you guys but I wash my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher because in my mind, 
A dishwasher just simply sanitizes. I have an older dishwasher and I believe even the brand new dishwashers, you know those commercials where you can take a baking dish with five day baked old food on there and you can put in this amazing dishwasher and it's gonna clean it. Okay, um, I have never seen that in my whole entire life. So whatever, it doesn't matter. Even if I had one of those, I will wash my dishes before I put my dishes in the dishwasher with Dawn dishwashing soap. I could put them in the rack and let them dry, but I go ahead and put them in my dishwasher. Pick that up from my grandma. It's what it is. Super clean. Whatever. Even though I wash my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher, this little buddy right here, and it looks small because it is, it's super ultra concentrated. When you pull your dishes out of your dishwasher, whether your dishwasher's brand new fabulous or if it's super old like mine, it doesn't matter. Um, you can tell a difference. It's like a brand new dish off of the, the shiny glass shelf out of Macy's under a light. When everything's sparkling brand new china, that's how it comes out of your dishwasher, whether you washed them before or not. It's incredible. So anywho, look at me over here selling Norwex. I'm sorry, I love Norwex. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the container. This is the scoop, okay? So this lasts forever. Time to, time to ante up, order more. This will last you forever. It's one little scoop in your dishwasher. Um, I don't know how many loads it does. It doesn't say. Anyway, it's all natural. No harsh chemicals. I'm gonna put it down because I'm not selling Norwex. If you're interested, let me know. I can hook a sister up. Okay, Suave Exfoliate Coffee and Coconut Body Wash. You guys. Oh my God. You guys, this, I mean, I can barely just, I, I can barely, barely tiny, tiny smell a hint of coconut. This is like sniffing a coffee bean, a coffee bean plucked right from the plant out in the field by Valdez himself. <sighs> I need to buy some more. It's more of a fall winter, um, you know, in the summer. It's, you know, I don't know. And, and it might weird you out to smell coffee in your shower. But OMG, I'll be picking up some more of that. Oh, God. It smells like a fresh pot of coffee. Love it. This is Olay Ultra Moisture Avocado Oil. Wasn't a big fan. <gasps> this was less than $2. This is probably $4. I'll have this. I'll have this. Call me cheap, but I like that better. It lathers up better. This smells good and clean. I really love how this smells. It has a really fresh scent. And anything involving avocados or avocado oil, like I'm the first one in line, okay? I mean, it's whatever. Take it or leave it. Try it once. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't even know what to say. I don't care. Um, in the same line, body wash. This is my all-time favorite of all time in all the world and all the land. Caress Ultra Butter and Brown, Ultra Shea Butter and Brown Sugar. Um, excuse, have y'all tried this yet? <laughs> Tyler Ramey, who is not on YouTube anymore, for anybody asking, I haven't talked to Tyler Ramey in probably two or three months. Um, we Marco Poloed was the last time we talked. This guy is super duper psycho busy with real estate. And he told me, he said, I miss YouTube, but I don't know that I'm ever coming back. And I said, okay, if anybody asks, I'll let them know. So Tyler, love, 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 love. Um, there's your, your PSA. Um, as of right now, Tyler Ramey's not coming back to YouTube, but he loves y'all. He misses y'all. Tyler, if you still watch me every now and then, I love you and I miss you and I hope everything's fabulous. Anywho, <laughs> he also loves this. My um, bonus son, Dalton, he tried mine once, sold. It's all he uses now. There's nothing on the shelf that smells like this. If I had to choose between this and this, of course I would pick this. This is coffee. This is strong. This is so strong. This is fall, winter. Oh, you guys, it just, it's a sweet, yummy, exfoliating, gritty body wash. And I'm going to stop because I could go on and on. Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Tapioca Dry Shampoo. Excuse me. Oh, there's still some left. You guys, oh, I'll be getting this again tomorrow. Oh, 
You guys, it smells. If you're a foodie person, if you like food smells, this is a food smell. This is a food smell. It smells exactly like what it says. Tapioca. Warm sugar. I don't really know what tapioca smells like, but I know what warm sugar smells like. It's kind of a vanilla. <sighs> Get in my hair, please. Get in my hair. Okay. This right here is soft soap, coconut butter scrub. There's still a little bit left. What does that tell you? Um, I'm done. I'm over it. Um, it was all right. I like soft soap brand, but this smell is kind of, I won't buy it again. We're done with that. We're done with that. Um, Mega Freeze, It Mega Freeze Extreme Hold Hairspray. I like this. I got this from the DG. This was good. I'd repurchase it again in a pinch. It's not my go-to, but I would, I would repurchase it. <sighs> I am a woman. I am all woman, but I wear men's deodorant. I am sure some of you guys have heard me talk about this before, but this is what I wear. Old Spice Fiji with Palm Tree. This is what I wear. I can't wear a secret. I can't wear a suave. All the little girly shampoo or shampoo or deodorants, they don't, they do nothing for me. Call me a sweater. I don't know. I move a lot. I work out a lot. I need something that's going to work. <laughs> this is the only thing I know that works for me. So my friend Charity, I was sending her a Marco Polo, Charity at Creek Ranch. And I'm like, Oh my God, you have to try this deodorant. It's the best deodorant in the whole world. And I know it's a man's deodorant and it's Old Spice and it goes way back. It reminds you of grandpa, but this is the best deodorant in the whole entire world. And I said, you have got to go to Walmart and get you some Fiji with palm tree Old Spice. She replied back in a Marco Polo. She's like, been using it for years. <laughs> my boss. So we take our gym bags to work because I row with my boss twice a week. She's like, oh my God, I need deodorant. I'm like, I got you, girl. I whipped it out. Don't make it a habit of sharing deodorant, but she's my boss. Whatever. We'll share. We're, I'm, I ain't scared of it. I'm not even scared of it. She put it on. She's like, oh my God, what is that? What is that? Gave her the lowdown. She now is uh, going to the store to get her some Fiji. Women. Women. It does not smell like a man. It smells like the islands, and it works like nobody's business. Like nobody's business. Um, okay, here's our nighttime soothing um, face wipes, towelettes. Um, I use my Norwex face cloth, face and body, to take my makeup off usually, but um, sometimes um, I'll use these if we're out running and gunning or if I'm in a quick pinch or whatever. I still love these. I still love these. Um, but I like to take my makeup off with my Norwex because it leaves my skin 99% bacteria free. Also a Norwex product, okay? Um, this is the instant age rewind that everybody in the land uses. Um, I don't use it in the summer, so this has um, been in my empties for a while. Um, it's empty. I love it, um, but in the summer, although I'm severely white, I have a little more color on my skin than usual, so in the summer, I don't even mess with any of that, but I do love it. So when fall and winter rolls around, I'll be using more of it, but right now... It's hot and I sweat. No, thanks. Um, these are little candles from the DG and these are lemon tart. They smell so good and so sweet and so lemony and they're so precious and I love the yellow color and I burned them in my downstairs bathroom. They have a good throw if you put them in a little room. Okay, if you put them in a big room like my bedroom, you're not going to smell it, but you'll smell them in a little bathroom. Okay, um, we're almost done. Sweet sugar lemon. This is from Walmart. Sweet sugar lemon. I can't even smell it now, but it smelled really good. I love all things citrus and lemon. Y'all know that. Um, oh, this is an empty bottle of Monolu cast. That's my lung pill I take every day, i.e. Singular. Um, if I didn't have this, I'd be, um, it, it'd be bad. It'd be real, real bad. So I've been taking this for years every day and I take the highest dosage so I can breathe. Um, this is Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief. So um, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays when I get done rowing, I come home and I soak in an Epsom salt bath. And this was just a packet and it worked pretty good. I'd use it again. On Along those lines, uh, this is 
Yeah, this smells really good. This is Dr. Teal's. I love Dr. Teal's. Dr. Teal's foaming bath with pure Epsom salts. I'm a firm believer in Epsom salts. It's magnesium. Magnesium soaking into your body. So, um, uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Hold, please. Epsom salt and magnesium go hand in hand. Somehow. Don't ask. I'm going to shut up because I'm going to sound real stupid because I don't know what I'm talking about. But I use Epsom salt. Okay? Explain to me the, the, that magnesium and Epsom salt correlation. Okay? Anyway, um, I'm a firm believer in Epsom salts and I soak in it twice a week and I love it. Um, this is my, <laughs> you've heard me talk about it before, probably my, also Norwex, Lassier Illuminating Face Oil. This right here, this is the best thing I've ever put on my face, and I put it on my face um, pretty much every night, um, and especially on the weekends. Now, in the summer, I use it less because I do sweat so much, but in the fall, in the spring, in the winter, when my skin is dry, this is the bomb.com. You guys, it just, it smells amazing. It only takes five drops. This little bottle is $50 but it lasts forever and you would be amazed at how it makes your skin feel. It's worth every single penny and I'll never run out. And I have a bottle in my bathroom. Um, also, um, things you can earn if you want to have a Norwex party. Norwex is anything from household products all the way up to your own personal skincare. They have a pet line. They have things for your cars. They have everything. Let me know if you're interested. Last but not least, this is Lueli teeth whitening system. I got this off of Amazon. Y'all, I got off Amazon. I used it a couple times and you're supposed to have instant results. I used it a couple times and look at all the product I have left. And here's the little light. So what you do is you put the gel in the mouthpiece. You turn the little light on, UV lights, you know, and you let it soak and it whitens your teeth. Um, The little whitening stick from Dollar Tree that you get for a dollar puts this to shame. This is horrible. I'm sorry. It is. It's awful. Um, so I got on Amazon and I was like, look, um, I didn't even ask for my money back, but I left a review and I don't ever leave reviews on Amazon. I'll give them five stars, but I don't have time to sit and tell you what I think about if I love it, if I hate it. I don't have time because... I have a full-time job and I have my extracurricular and I have my hobbies. I have my YouTube. I have, I have a bunch of stuff that I like to do and I just doing reviews on Amazon is I just, you know, I'd rather watch a movie and drink a glass of wine. I don't have time for that, but this was so awful that I went on there and I very calmly, very sweetly, I don't know how sweet it was, but I remember it wasn't, it wasn't harsh. I was just like, this is awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. This awful. This sucks. This is like, it did nothing. You know, there was no results at all. Maybe I should have used the whole thing, but um, I used enough to know that I saw no difference. Like, right when you take it out of your mouth, you can see a slight difference, but it's real blotchy and splotty. So you have like white spots and darker spots, and it wasn't even, and it wasn't, it was, I, no, please don't buy this. Anyway, they were super, super sweet, and they immediately said, I am so sorry, and they put my money back in my bank account within 24 hours. So I will say that although I am not a fan of this product, I am a fan of the courtesy of the company. They were amazing. They didn't question me. They just said, I'm so sorry it didn't work for you. Here's your money back. Let us know if we can help you with anything else. Their customer service was beyond amazing. I just wasn't a fan of their product. Um, my sister's texting me. Um, it's been 29 minutes. I'm so sorry it took so long. I'm a talker and I missed y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. The Lord loves you more. Take your vitamins, get your magnesium, get a workout in. Keep yourself healthy, especially in these day and age with COVID trying to spike again. Okay, love y'all. The Lord loves you more.